Oh, it's, I'm, I, I'm supposed to speak? Oh. What's up, my good people? Anton, your soul here. And another day, another update. Haba na Haba, Ujaza Library. We have completed, finalized the flooring. We're now vanishing, making it sparkle. So when the kids come, they can enjoy the space and they can be created and just feel good in the space, you know? And we are also gonna show you that now we've begun works on a perimeter wall. And that's our most expensive venture so far. Uh, the digging, um, just, you know, making sure that we are within the area of the plot. And then after, I think now we can start thinking of a toilet. So that's it. What don't we have? Do we have a toilet? Have we done landscaping? Do we have a gate? Do we have access to uh, grid or off grid in terms of uh, power, energy? Do we have access to water? Just a little bit for our plants, but we need access to uh, getting on the water grid, so to say. Do we have that? We're getting there. Do we have books? Oh, yes, we have a lot of books. I can't wait for you guys to see the place full. But that's an update of what's happening. And yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see the end. And I cannot wait to see kids here enjoying, reading, expanding and expounding their creativity and just all the possibilities they can get. As a library, this is a very good initiative, especially to the community. And uh, I think it's reviving the, the reading culture that we have lost for some time. This project is so important because when kids have access to books, access to library, it helps them in, in, in educational growth, self-education, I mean research. They know, they get to learn a lot and self-educate a lot. So I can't wait for Jaza Library to be the center for the Catalyst for Education, Cultural Preservation, and community empowerment. Let's go. Haba na haba, Hujaza Library.